You clicked on this video for a reason. It's not an accident. It's not a coincidence. You read the title and you're here for a reason. It's your sign to go all in. I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have a ton of subscribers. The reason you clicked on this video is because you want to go all in and you know what to do and you're ready to do it. So let me show you exactly how you're gonna go about this. You're gonna start by prioritizing yourself. I know you're not taking yourself seriously. You're not in control of your life. Take back control of your life. Prioritize your habits, prioritize your sleep and prioritize eating well. These are really important things that are very overlooked and you know that you want what it is. You want it bad. You want to do whatever it takes and I'm going to teach you how to do that. So stick with me and let's get through this. You have so much potential. It's literally infinite. Each and every single one of us carries infinite potential within us. So I want to help you. Let me help you. Let's dive in to attention first. You need to really pay attention to what it is that you want. Really put your focus in on it. Everything on the thing that you wanna do, whether it's going back to school, getting promoted at your job, doing anything that you desire, not what you're expected to do, not what other people want you to do, what you want to do, because this is your sign to go all in. You want it bad, so do what it takes and you will get it. And you have an inner battery. Think of it like your phone. Your phone dies, 0% battery. That can happen to you. Take yourself seriously. Recharge your battery. Keep it at 80, 90, 100%. During the day when you're getting those things done that are really difficult and asking a lot of you, you need to show up for yourself as your best self. You can't be showing up for yourself on five or 10, 15% battery. It's running low. Fuck that, stop doing that to yourself. All you're doing is hurting yourself. All you're doing is making it harder on yourself to get your goals, to go after what it is that you want so bad. Stop doing yourself dirty. It's you against you. Prioritize yourself, prioritize your self care, prioritize your habits, get better, do better and recharge your battery. Please girly, stop letting your battery die. That is not going to help you get to your goals. It's not gonna help you get what you want out of life. Recharge your battery by taking proper breaks. Go outside, get fresh air. Scrolling on your phone is not a proper break. Watching more YouTube videos is not a proper break. When you're done watching this video, I want you to take a serious break. Go outside, get fresh air, and get back into yourself. Look inward, feel out what it is that is stopping you from getting what you want, that's stopping you from going back to school, that's stopping you from getting promoted at your job. Anything that's stopping you, look at it and face it, face to face with it. Just really focus on whatever that is. You know what it is. I mean, that's why you clicked on this video. It's just the fact that you have to go all in on it now. This is the time to say, I'm going after it. I'm done putting it down. I'm done putting it away. It's time to go all in and get after it. And next up, we have avoid distractions. I know it's not easy. I know you wanna watch TV. I know you wanna watch movies. I know that you wanna go out on the weekends, but if you really wanna take your life seriously and you're, it's why you clicked on this video, let me remind you again, because it's important to you. You want to go after what you want, right? It's just a season of life. You're putting all your energy and effort into this thing that you want. You can't be going out on the weekends and partying and it doesn't work like that. There's certain seasons where you are dedicated to your vision and you do whatever it takes to get it and make it happen. Anything that is stopping you from reaching your goals has got to be put on the back burner. It's done for this season. It's not forever. It's just a moment in time. Think of it like the four seasons in the year, right? You've got three months for each season. Just take a season and dedicate it to this specific thing that you want to get in life. The thing that you want to go all in on. That's happening now. Nothing else matters. You're going all in on it, girly. And please stop expecting things to be perfect. Stop waiting for the perfect time to get started. Stop waiting and waiting. Waiting is not gonna get you there. Waiting is gonna keep you waiting forever. Done is better than none. Small progress is still progress. Just make small steps every day and you will get what you want. I promise you that. You just have to put in the work. Make mistakes and learn from them. You can learn and grow from your mistakes. Mistakes are a good thing. We always look at mistakes as, oh, we can't do that, that's bad. No, make the damn mistakes, please. Stop 
thinking that mistakes are bad. Make the mistakes, learn from them, grow from them, and do not repeat them over and over again. That's where mistakes are bad, okay? You gotta understand the difference. Mistakes are good, you learn from them, you grow from them. Get down and dirty with whatever it is that you have to do and learn and keep moving forward. Don't repeat the same mistakes. They're lessons learned and you grow from them. And focus on the goals that are going to get you what you want. Forget everything else. Make it a priority to focus on the goals that will get you ahead. The needle moving work is what I like to call it. Anything that's gonna push you to get after what you want, that's what you're doing. You're focusing on those things first. That's gonna fuel your motivation and it's gonna get you after what you want. Turn inwards. Seriously, it's that little voice inside of you that's like, I really want this thing. Please just go after this thing. You know, you know it, you know it. You have to listen, it's inside of you. Just take a moment, breathe, meditate, do whatever it takes to get that inner voice to speak to you if you can't hear it because it's in you, it's within all of us. You just have to take a moment and listen and listen clearly because that is what your purpose is. That's what you're supposed to be going after. That's what's going to push you to go after what you want. It's that voice inside of you. So look inward and listen to what that person has to say. Listen to that girl. It could be your inner child too. Just listen and do what it is that is being asked of you because that's the most important thing here. Once you start putting things into action, you get a track record that you can look back on and feel proud about because you did something. Doing something is better than doing nothing. I hate seeing wasted potential. I know so many people that stop school because they just don't feel like finishing. Finish school if that's what you wanna do. If you don't, then don't do it. But seriously, I hate that shit. I hate seeing wasted potential. If there's something you're in the middle of or you're so close to finishing and you know it's gonna do you good and that's what you want, go after it, girl. Stop wasting your time. Stop letting the days slip by. Just go after it. Some progress is better than no progress. Small progress is better than no progress. Any progress is better than no progress, seriously. Even on those bad days where you're like, ah, I can't do it because I'm not put together enough or ah, I can't go to this place and get that thing that I need to get because I'm just not up to it. Girl, I record my best videos sometimes on my bad days. Just do it, just go after it because every day that you're not going after it is a day that is getting missed on and it's getting slept on and fuck that shit. Every day that goes by, you wanna look over and say, I did something every day and I'm damn proud of it. That's a track record that you wanna keep. Do something every single day, even if it's just a little bit. If you have something that you wanna go all in on, like I said, that's why you clicked on this video. I'm here telling you, you gotta put the work in. A little bit every day will get you there. And you really just cannot expect to be perfect. I'm serious. It's the fact that like I, when I started out my YouTube channel, I even went over this and I was like, I have to make sure that my script's perfect. I have to make sure that everything I'm saying is word for word what it's supposed to be, right? Fuck that. You have to learn through your mistakes. You're a noob. You're not supposed to know everything. That's another thing. Like you have to do something in order to learn from it. You have to do something in order to grow from it. Do something, please. If there's anything you could take out of this video, it's just to do something. Doing something is better than doing absolutely nothing. And I'm sorry I'm getting so heated and emotional about this, but I just, I really do. I hate seeing wasted potential. I hate seeing people wait for the perfect moment to get started, for the perfect moment to get into whatever it is that they're trying to do. You're not going to be perfect. You'll never be perfect. And that's okay. Fuck perfectionism. I'm so against perfectionism. I'm so against making sure that everything's perfect. Just put it out there. Get yourself out there. Show people that you don't have to be perfect. People don't like this expectation. Show them that it's not what life is all about. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to do something. Focus on what's important. Discipline is so important. If you're disciplined and you have routine and you're strict with yourself, you are gonna get results. If you are just like, eh, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, that's not gonna get you there. You need to learn discipline. You need to be serious with yourself. You have to really go after it if it's what you want. If you wanna go all in, you need discipline. Discipline is really important. It's saying no to going out on the weekends. It's saying no to going to a birthday party that is okay, you're not really feeling it. 
say no more often, it's gonna do you good too, especially for your feminine energy. So many women say yes immediately. You should give yourself at least 24 hours to make a proper decision on whether or not you wanna actually go somewhere, whether or not it's good for you. That is energy right there. And your energy is your most precious, valuable asset that you have. So spend it wisely. Stop wasting your time with people you don't like. Stop going to places that you don't like. It's also keeping you away from what you really want, which is that thing that you're going after. So stop doing that to yourself. Go all in and say no to shit. Be disciplined, get after it. And it's just a season of life. That's all it is. It doesn't have to be forever. It's not so black and white. Stop thinking that it's gotta be like this and that's the only way to get there. It's just for a season of your life. It's the season of growth. It's the season of abundance. It's the season of going after what it is that you want. That's what this is. Don't overthink it. Don't overcomplicate it, but be serious and be disciplined with yourself so that you can get what you want. So you can go after what it is that you really desire, not what you think you need, not what everybody else wants you to do, not what everyone else expects you to do. It's what you're desiring. It's what you want. It's coming from within you. It's that voice that's screaming at you and saying, this is the life that I desire. This is the life that I can wake up to say, I love life. Cause I know girl, I know you're not enjoying life. That's why you clicked on this video. You're tired of settling for less. You're tired of not getting what it is that you want out of life. And I've been there girl. I know how fucking shitty that is. I know how awful it is to sleep in and not have a purpose and not feel like I'm getting what I want out of life. Fuck that shit. I'm sorry, I keep cursing a lot. I get really passionate about this. I hate seeing women not get what they want out of life, living a life that is not full up to their potential. I don't want women being upset and pissed off at themselves anymore. I want them going after what they want. That's my mission here. I really want women getting after what they want, what they desire, what they know is out there for them so that they can feel good and be good and do good in this world and lead by example. We need more women like this. There's also this part in your brain, it's called the AMCC. I'm gonna break it down real simple, okay? It's when you do hard things, it gets easier. This is part of the brain that it likes it. And when you do more hard things, it gets easier every time you do this. So try doing hard things. Start small, work your way up, and your AMCC is gonna get stronger and it's gonna crave doing harder work and it will become more enjoyable over time. But here's the thing, the hard work will always be hard work, it'll just be easier work. You'll get through the times that are really hard and then over time you'll look back and be like, wow, I thought that was hard, that's easy now. That's what the AMCC is. Next up, I wanna talk about how it's easy to become complacent because this is what happened to me. It's so easy to go into indulgence, to get lazy, to fall back, to think I got everything I wanted and need it, so now I can just relax. Girl, stop thinking like that because it's not good and it will hurt your future self. It's easy to crave comforts because they give us pleasure. These are things that we naturally seek in life as humans. We want to crave pleasure and comforts and anything that makes us feel good. But things that make us feel good aren't always good for us and that's the problem here. So that's why you really gotta take yourself seriously and stop getting complacent. Stop thinking like, this is where it ends for me and now I can just relax. That's not how it goes. You don't ever relax fully. You can relax and relax, that's fine. But when you're relaxing, make sure you're relaxing, right? There's a difference between relaxing and staying complacent. Staying complacent gets rid of your drive. It gets rid of your motivation. It's not good for you. You wanna do better. You wanna get better out of life. You gotta stop being complacent because easy doesn't always equal good. Things that are easy are things that are mediocre and you don't want a mediocre life. You wanna be able to travel. You wanna be able to go places with your friends and family. You wanna be able to do the best things for your life and your future self. And staying complacent hurts your future self. And let me explain to you exactly what happened to me so you fully understand why it's bad to stay complacent. I worked really, really, really hard on my small business. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, I'm the owner of a small business called Lucid Living Co. And it took so long to grow it, right? And then I grew it, it blew up, and I became complacent. It was so rewarding seeing all the money come in. I thought I was set for life. I thought things were just gonna be this way and I was gonna be able to retire and life was just always gonna be good. And then the economy was just like, no, <laughs> LOL, just kidding. And then I got screwed because I became complacent 
and all it did was hurt me in the long run. And then I got into money issues and it was just a big mess, honestly. And I don't want that to happen to you. Even if you think things are good right now, they can always change. They can always fall apart. Always have a backup plan. Always put yourself out there and do better for yourself evolve, transform, grow. That's what we're meant to do here. Life is short. Enjoy a life that is going to give you the most out of it. A fulfilling life is the best life you're ever gonna live, girl. Don't settle for less. Don't get complacent. Please learn from my mistakes. That's why I'm here and I'm teaching here. It also led me to smoking weed. Like I just, I couldn't handle my problems. I was so stressed out. The money issues were bad because I became complacent. I would rush home every night after work, scroll on my phone for hours, smoke weed, be high as shit, not know what the hell's going on, not enjoying my fucking life. It sucked ass. I don't wanna see that happen to anyone. And that's why I'm so serious about this message. I just really wanna save at least a few women's lives here. Like, please just stop settling for less. Stop staying complacent. It's not gonna help your future self. It's only gonna hurt you. And you will regret it if you stay complacent because it's never a good thing. Not facing your problems only makes them worse. That was the biggest thing too. Like I just wouldn't face my problems. I just tried to escape my problems through smoking and drinking. It didn't help me. It just hurt me. That's what staying complacent also does to you. So really take me seriously here. If you're smoking, if you're drinking, if you're scrolling on your phone, stop. Do yourself a favor and save your future self. Live a fulfilling life that is going to get you more because that's what you want. You have infinite potential, Bestie. Please understand that each and every one of us carries infinite potential within us. We have so much room to grow, to take up space, to be whoever it is that we wanna be. And so many people sleep on this. Don't be like everybody else. You don't wanna be like everyone else. That is why you clicked on this video because so many people stay complacent. So many people stay the same. So many people settle for less. Fuck it, stop being like them. It's not worth it. These are called crabs. These people, they'll just keep holding you down. They'll pull you down. They don't want you to get better. They don't want you to do better. They don't want you to be better than them. They just want you to be on the same level as them. They don't want anything good for you. Get rid of them, at least for this season of life, okay? You can help them out in the future. They're in a bad spot. They don't wanna see you grow and be better than them. Of course they don't. It's gonna hurt their ego. You gotta understand this. It's nothing to do with you. It's everything to do with them. And this is where you have to understand that you will be able to help them, just not yet. Maybe not ever. That's another thing. A lot of people I've tried helping, they still don't wanna listen, especially friends and family. And it's hard, I know, it's frustrating, but we all have our own journeys here and not everyone wants this journey. You want this journey. That's why you're here still, that's why you're listening, and that's why you're taking me seriously. So continue to watch and I will continue to prove to you that this will be the right decision for you because you are meant to go all in. You are meant for more. You are meant to do better in this life. Next up, we have pushing out of your bubble. It's your comfort zone bubble, okay? Think of it as this bubble that can expand. And every single time that you go after something that's hard, that's difficult, your bubble gets bigger. And it's really cool actually. And I, I think it's like so awesome that we can keep expanding and keep growing our bubble. Right now, your bubble might be small and it might be tight. So just start small and slowly start expanding it. Because what you desire is right outside of your comfort zone. It's right outside of that bubble. And that bubble will get bigger. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable and that bubble will get bigger. Staying comfortable makes life more difficult. It goes right back into staying complacent. Don't let things be easy. When you're in this season of life, you have to get through hard things. You have to face your fears. You have to go after what it is that you want. It's gonna be tough, but only for this season of life. You have to remember that. It's not always gonna be difficult. It's allowed to be easy, when you have reached what it is that you want. But when you are going through this process, it is going to be difficult to get after what you want. When I first started out with Lucid, it was so difficult. It was so hard. I kept wanting to give up. And that's really when you shouldn't give up is that feeling when you're like, fuck, I don't wanna do this anymore. You push through that feeling and you get your reward. So many people, it'll be like this. You're starting up here and you're like, la -di da everything's good, right? In the beginning phases, Life's good. And then you hit that dip and it's like, fuck, I don't wanna be here. That's where you have to get through it. That dip is where you're supposed to keep moving forward, girly, because so many people drop out then and that's where you don't wanna be. You don't wanna be mediocre anymore. You wanna go all in for what you want, 
you have to go through this dip and then you get back up and that's when life gets good. Get through those difficult times to get to those better times because that's what life is all about. I wasn't seeing results for a while with Lucid. It took me over a year to get up to 10,000 followers and that really took a lot of dedication discipline, and a lot of energy and hard work to get there. Good things just don't happen overnight. Everyone wants that overnight success. Everybody wants the million subscribers right away or the 100,000 followers on Instagram. And it's just not how life works. You have to be patient and you have to be persistent. That is how you're able to go after what it is that you want. Patience and persistence is key. Time will pass regardless, so you might as well put the work in. Every day that goes by is a chance to go after it. So get after it and do something, because doing something, like I said, is better than doing nothing. Small progress is still progress. Every day, do something and you will reap the rewards, I promise you. I have been in business for over eight years now and I have seen many ups and downs. I know how this works and I want the best for you, girl. I want you to go after it. I want you to get better. I want you to do better. I want you to live the best, most fulfilling life that you possibly can because you deserve it. We all do. It's within all of us and I'm trying to help as many women as possible get after what it is that they want. Just get started. Going after your goals is going to be rewarding. Seeing progress with your goals is also gonna be reassuring. Just go after it. Compete with yourself. It's you against you. It's not me against you, girl. It's you against you. And a lot of people get this mixed up too. You don't have to be good at something to get started on something. It's a self-limiting belief. It's gonna stop you, so stop with that shit. No more of that self-negative talk. No more self-limiting beliefs. Turn that self-negative talk, turn that self-limiting belief into a positive, reassuring belief because that is the key too. You can't be telling yourself, I don't have the skills for what this takes. I'm never gonna be able to get out of school. I'm never gonna be able to graduate. Fucking stop that shit. That is the wrong attitude. The more you do something, the better you're gonna get. The only thing you have to do is just get started. That's it, it's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Stop with that shit. You don't have to know everything, girl. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to go after it, put in all your effort and do what it takes because that's how you're gonna get it. You must believe in yourself. You must want it badly, not just a little bit, not a little bit more than a little bit. You want it badly, you go after it with everything that you have and that is how you get after it and believing in yourself will turn into confidence over time you will get better you will do better and you will be able to live a fulfilling life the one that you've always dreamed of the one that you've always envisioned for yourself since you were a little girl the life that you want is yours it's just right outside of your comfort zone girly so get after it and if you want to connect with like-minded women in a sisterhood I've made this free community. It's called Empress Energy, and I cannot wait to see you there. There's hundreds of women just like us. So get on in there and let me keep pushing you, girly, because I know you need it. You need me being an accountability partner for you, and I got you, girl. The link is in the description with some other free goodies as well. Be sure to check them out, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.